Hey guys, yeah, so I'm just back, just a very quick one. I just want to do another video on this um, Tikinta template I've created. Um, so I'm going to store the link down in the description. It's um, stored as a GitHub GIST. And what a GIST is, is just basically code snippets you can post. So this is just a single um, Tikinta file, and it's just a template of um, the portfolio project I did before. So how it, it's just basically a template with the login page as well. But instead of using um, SQL, it stores down the credentials um, as a text file. So I'll just show you how that works quickly. So you've got your login page, or well, clicked on the link, on the file, sorry. Clicked on the register. So I'm just gonna create my account details. That's similar in the fact that you can't, like your password needs to be longer than three values, so it has that check. So I'll just do a quick one, admin, admin, create account. Your account details have um, been stored. So click OK. As you can see, it's in the text file. So what will happen is when I enter the username and password, it's going to look in um, the first index and the third index um, for the details, the credentials to log in. So if I type in admin, then I type in my password and try to log in, you know, the username or password, you've entered the incorrect. Is so that changes? Log in, walk away. And you just get this display here. Um, so like I said, this is all in one file. Um, so this here is just an array of Pokemon name type and the base stat total for anyone who's into Pokemon. And it's the original 151. Um, and yeah, it's just in a tree view. So you can check the code to see how that's been done. And um, these are just a few to the Kinta widgets. So this box, you can select multiple values, and radio buttons and also check buttons. So you can see um, this is, it says TK and TTK. So TTK is a more uh, modern version of Tikinta. And as you can see, uh, yeah, you can just see this, it's, it looks different, like the buttons here as well. These buttons actually refresh this as well. So if you want to check that, you can look into the code and see how I've done that. Click through Lambda function on the button itself and then the functions within the class. Um, yeah, that's how that's ran. And as you can see, there's various menus. So you have your menu one, menu two has nothing, menu three is page one, then menu four is page two, then there's a sub menu here for page three, and another menu here for page four. And you can click on menu six in here, so you can open a new window if you ever need to do that. You can get multiple like the window doesn't, it, it doesn't like destroy it completely which some code out there does. So you can go right to all widgets and you, know, you can use this as a template to create your own. This here is also a widget, um, like this box, it's called a um, label frame, which is very useful. So what I tend to find is the TK but the TK um, widgets are a lot more, um, I can say they're a lot more customizable. Um, the TK, the TTK ones, you can customize them with styles, but it's a bit, it, it works differently. Um, so yeah, the best combination is to mix and match them. I've also left some very useful links in the, the um, code itself, and you can see them. And particularly on Stack Overflow, there's a person called Brian Oakley, and um, yeah, his input is he's very very knowledgeable um, on on this kind of topic. Um, if yeah, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be able to do this in the first place. So yeah, um, shout out to him. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the most part. So this file, yeah, as I said, you can literally like copy and paste the code into your um, into your IDE or text editor and run it, and it should pretty much work as long as you have Python. Um, yeah, and that's that. So yeah, take care. Bye.